Welcome to my home everyone. Today we are styling my eat-in kitchen nook for spring, making it come alive with beautiful home decor. Hello there everyone. I'm so glad that you are joining me today here in my kitchen nook. This is right off of my kitchen and it's our casual dining space. If you have joined me for one of my decorating videos before, then you know I like to start with a clean and clear space. I love this corner hutch. It stays decorated in some form like this most of the year. I love my blue and white transfer wear, my black and white Mackenzie Childs. So this is going to be my inspiration for my spring decorating here in my kitchen nook this season. When you're decorating, always keep scale in mind. I have tall ceilings in here, and this is a very large, voluminous space, so I can use this really big wicker basket vase. There is one similar to this currently in the spring line at Hobby Lobby. To it, I'm adding these faux baby's breath that I got this season at At Home. It is a home decorator store if you're not familiar with it. But the scale of this is very large, so it fills up the space from the top of the cabinet to the ceiling very well. I want to bring some natural spring colors up here to this space, so I'm using this little hook. It is a plaque and wreath holder. To that, I am adding this just green boxwood type wreath. If you know exactly what type of artificial wreath this is, let me know in the comments. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby years back. It was hanging in a different part of my house, so I shopped my home and am now repurposing it here, which makes Makes it look like completely new decor. I have picked up my small collection of spode plates and transferware from different places over the years. You used to could find these for relatively cheap. I think they've gotten more and more expensive, but I want to display this little salad plate up here. It leans a little far back in the plate stand, so I am going to fold up this disposable plate in half and create a little spacer here that will elevate it and make it stand a little more upright so you can see it better and then I just have a little ceramic bird I think this came from Hobby Lobby last year I'm not sure I have an extensive collection of ceramic birds I like to use in and around my home and then to soften the harsh lines around this little accent lamp, I am going to use this drapey ivy bush and just kind of have it cascade down the side of my china hutch. I love all of the green natural colors up here and the soft feeling it gives to this space. was a five dollar garage sale find it did not look this good it was very damaged and old looking i did a little diy on it i will have that linked for you how you can turn trash to treasure just like i'm about to do with this old faux plant i had this orchid and i wanted to elevate it just a little bit Last year, I bought this viral Walmart planter. They have them again this year. I have the small size and a large size. I got lucky that my orchid sits right down in it in the original pot. So all I have to do is then take some green Spanish moss and add it around the base. This is really going to give new life to this orchid that I have used all over my home for years now. It also makes it look high end and designer more than that little skimpy pot that it was originally in when you add either rocks or this green moss around it it really does give it a more decorative look to it so that's a tip for you when you're decorating so you can take something that you already have and give it new life
life without spending anything or very little money at all. So circling back to that thrifted stool, we're going to set up our orchid here on this estate sale brass charger. It is so beautiful styled here in its new gorgeous planter. <music> Believe it or not, in my extensive linen collection, I did not have a wide table runner. I found this one at Walmart and it has great texture to it, kind of that boho vibe to keep the space casual with my more formal elements like in my china hutch. My husband and I are empty nesters. My oldest son and his wife and my son at college, when they come home, we typically eat at our bar top. So I don't have to keep my centerpiece necessarily low. I am using this wooden tray and my thrifted vase. I love this blue vase. I cannot believe I even considered doing a DIY on it. The blue is just fabulous. I have some more drapey faux greenery that I'm gonna use in my vase. This is going to help keep all of my real filled tulips in place without having to use floral foam. If you invest in anything this spring, let it be these real filled tulips. I bought these last year. I bought another batch of them this year. I have them in red. They are just absolutely wonderful. You can bend them around, which I highly suggest to make them look more realistic than they already do. They will last you for for many, many years to come with proper storage, so a great investment. I'm just adding them to the vase, arranging them to spread out and look as natural as possible. I think the white table runner with the white tulips really does make that blue vase pop. So I am very excited and thrilled with the way this looks on my kitchen table. You probably won't believe where I found this beautiful three wick candle, but at Walgreens of all places, it smells so good. I wished you could smell it through the screen here. I think it is really pretty to the container that it's in. I can save that when I've burned it all down and use it for other things around my home or refill it with a candle. I have a thrifted silver tray. And on top of that, another Walgreens find this matchstick holder. It is a dupe of a $30 Amazon matchstick holder. So a great find there. Check out the spring section at Walgreens. I shared this little ceramic rabbit in my thrifted spring haul and he looks so cute here on the tray. is my candle warmer that my husband bought me for Christmas. He really hit it out of the park this year. I am going to start styling my side table here with the $6 estate sale find. You can see it has a great patina on the brass. This is a beautiful look, but I wanted to make sure it was clean, so I gave it a quick wipe down with some liquid barkeeper's friend, and look how shiny and new it looks. That patina will come back soon enough, but at least now I know it is clean and sanitized. Another great Christmas gift from my husband was this clear acrylic vase, the Mysteries of Growth. It's going to be a cute little vase for a floral arrangement here in just a minute. I have this ceramic white bunny that is going to sit beside it. And then at Walmart, I found this beautiful white and blue medallion planter. It was under $6 and it is going to bring some pattern and color over here. Just in case the black and white harlequin was not enough. I believe I got these greenery stems from Hobby Lobby last year. I like to fold the stock up and that helps to shorten it so that it fits down in these smaller, more shallow planters. I'm going to be using two of these stems so that it gives it a nice full 
fluffy look to the greenery. Make sure that you bend and straighten it all out so that it looks as realistic as possible for faux greenery. I would really like to be able to keep real plants alive, but there is no sunlight here, so no chance of anything growing. I have more of those white real fill tulips that I'm going to be adding to that acrylic vase. I think these are just so pretty. I like the vase that you can see the stems of the tulips. You could definitely add water or that crafting material that makes it look like water of course that then permanently affixes them in your vase. I forget what that's called. If you know, drop it in the comments for everybody else because I'm drawing a blank. the small shelf we're going to decorate next. The mirror up here came from Hobby Lobby. It was the one that had those words on it. Just use some acetone and the words wipe right off. The Walmart dollar spot has some great spring stuff right now. That's where I found this vase for $5. And then I have these stems from years past. That's why they are already kind of fluffed out and arranged. They're going to fit perfectly down in this little vase, adding that touch of whimsy. You can see my husband did not realize he was on camera in the mirror. <laughs> I also have this stallion print I'm going to put up here and a thrifted candlestick holder and one of my favorite Amazon purchases, this battery operated candlestick. And that simple decor is going to complete this shelf styling. sharing my passion for decorating and creating a home that I enjoy spending time in. I hope that my spring decor is inspiring you to do the same, creating a home that you enjoy and love spending time in, a place that brings you a lot of happiness and joy. Thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate it when you join me. I love this community. I love each of you and I feel honored and privileged that you spend your precious time here with me. If you enjoyed that video, please hit the thumbs up. That really does help my channel grow and get pushed out on YouTube. And if you haven't already, I invite you to hit that subscribe bar, ring the bell, set up your notifications so you don't miss a future upload. I would love to have you join me here again. I will be back with more spring decorating, more thrifting, some thrifted DIYs for high-end upscale home decor. So until I see you in one of those upcoming videos, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day.